one of the big things with the Avaya from its very conceptual brief was to make the car usable, everyday usable, with features that would benefit that. One of the instant dynamic attributes is that we've got up to 1,700 newton meters of torque instantly available. That is what gives you that initial surge of power. But the big thing with the Lotus is handling. Very nimble, very agile, confidence inspiring. And the Avion is no difference to this. From the very concept of the design of the vehicle, we selected the battery pack to be just behind me, right in the center of the car, so that the car is very, very agile all the way through up to its well over 200 miles per hour top speed. The Avion has five drive modes. So in range, we kept the power down to just over a thousand horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. We've turned into a rear wheel drive so the motor technology is intelligent so that we're maximizing range. Then you change it into city mode. This is very similar, but as you feel, we get more regenerative braking. So when you lift off the throttle, the car will naturally slow down a little bit in range mode. That's reduced slightly in city. You don't want that abrupt inertia and feel. And the rear wing will start to lift and to deploy itself in a drag efficient position. In tour mode, we really start to increase the power. 1400 horsepower, maximum torque, up to 1700 newton meters of torque. Intelligent motoring system. So for efficiency, if you're needing only two wheel drive, if you're needing four wheel drive, the torque vectoring, this is where it really comes in. But even in this mode, below 30 miles per hour, press the button and the car would lift its nose up to allow you over the speed humps, into parking areas, things like this. So again, we're thinking of that daily usage. Then in sport mode, we then start to allow the full power, nearly 1,700 horsepower, 1,700 newton meters of torque. And we have stability control systems that are looking for maximum traction all the time. So if I put my foot down, we just get pure forward thrust. Track mode, 2,000 PS, 1,700 newton meters of torque. The stability control is looking for maximum traction and we're looking at the torque factory to accelerate us through the apex of the curve. Big carbon brakes. But a lot of feel. They're not the, the carbon brakes you hear in Formula One. Just the same technology, but they're tuned for maximum feel. And here linked with the rotary, we can toggle through what we call widgets. So you can have downforce figures, lap time, energy consumption, tire pressures, your media, all at the touch of a fingertip and a fantastic clear display in front of you. One of the advantages of a Lotus is its cab forward design. So we bring the screen really forward. You feel like you're driving the front wheels. The bumps in the bodywork, the carved by air sculpture. You can read through the screen. We have good visibility past the A pillar, large side windows, good headroom. Linked with the latest in technology camera systems, we have really good rear visibility for both parking and driving on the highway. So that's how we got the Avaya feeling like a Lotus. Practical, and an absolute weapon, but always a car that was agile to drive, confidence inspiring, and you could push really up to the limits in all of the modes.
totally unbelievable and the, the power and the, the speed that I mean I've never experienced anything like it, it was exceptional. Being the second person to sit inside the Avaya is just incredible, it's such an honour and uh, I so, feel so fortunate to be able to do it. I think it's a, I think it's great, a great thing for both appealing to a new generation and a younger audience and also to ensure that we still get to keep enjoying driving and enjoying cars. And that thing is totally wild and unlike anything I've ever experienced. So.